Okay guys, welcome back. So, I went ahead and mixed all of my colors except for two, okay? So I still have the gold and I have the purple left. And I did a little research too, because I wanted to know exactly what I was working with. And floating me medium, ironically, is <laughs> it's another um, it's another way to thin your acrylics without affecting the quality of it. So, in a nutshell, um, that's why the Liquitex pouring medium got so fluid-like. So it basically thinned the Liquitex pouring medium. I'm really excited to see if it dries as glossy as it would normally without um, without using the floating medium. So we will see. But um, anyway, <coughs> excuse me. So one part paint, and then we'll add one part of the pouring medium mixture. And the really cool part is it just mixes really, really easily. And, uh, you know, like I said, it gets really thin for a minute and you're almost like, what did I do? And then it just thickens right back up. So. And then I, you know, thin it back down again with the water. I probably don't even need to add the water, but, you know. I only got that small bottle of the floating medium and until I get the ratios down correctly uh, I definitely yeah see how it's all like until I get the ratios down correctly I'm not trying to just you know waste all of it in one pour this is just Liquitex pouring medium I'm just adding a little more I'm trying to stretch it a little bit so instead of like you know, one part floating medium to one part Liquitex pouring medium. I'm starting to modify it right even, you know, through this pour. So, in the description, I will list, you know, my final discovery of the ratio that I think is, you know, feasible for what we're doing. So it's pretty runny as it is, but it's still really thick. So then this is when I'll come in with the water flow mix. That is such a pretty gold. I'm almost out of gold too. And I, I told myself I was going to use up all my paints this time before I went and bought more. And I am really torturing myself trying to get that last little bit out of those tubes. I'm trying to use up the colors that I haven't really touched and mix my own stuff and be different and everything. And it's it's going okay, but, you know, yeah, this is still really thick. I mean, gold is very opaque to begin with, but, well, you know what? I forgot I mixed that craft paint in there. So it is going to be on the thin side. I don't know. I'm going to see exactly. I might just leave it for right now. If I need to make more, I always can. I'm not totally out of the gold yet. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. So, well, let me wipe my stick. Acrylic, um, acrylic, most of the acrylic paint does not have a retarder in it. That's a chunk. That's from it drying on me. So, what happens is, it dries, the, the acrylic paint part dries very quickly, you know, once you add the mediums to it, most mediums have a retarder in it to, you know, delay, delay the drying, but, I know I said this in another video, but if you ever want to know what your color palette looks like, and if it's going to work, you can always wipe everything on a paper towel and kind of cheat. <laughs> all right moving along I probably need to add just a little bit more uh, actually I have half a bottle left what am I crying about <laughs> the way I had it earlier it was like inverted so 
it was all running, you know, stuck to the sides and it made it, it's very light feeling. So it made it feel like I used half the bottle already, but I did not. That is really thin. So let's add a little more Liquitex to it. That just felt way too thin. We went from, what did I say, vitamin D milk to skim milk. And we are still really thin. I'm going to bring it back. Alright, we're getting there again. Sorry. Okay, all that's mixed in. Now, one part was that? Okay. Yeah. So it felt really thin in the cup, and then when I went back. And started mixing this now it's we're like very thick so I'm gonna add a little more medium like so okay and then I'll come in with the water. For some reason, that stuff is really thick compared to the other colors. They thinned right down. And I used, um, the metallic purple was opaque, the violet was transparent, and then the color shift is a craft paint, so I, I think all color shifts are very transparent. Okay, so it's like tricking me. It's making me feel like it's heavy, but I bet this is one of my most densest colors right now. It is pretty. That fluorescent light I have is m making it look a lot lighter than it really is. Alright. So yeah, I'm going to stop with that. I think, I think that's thick enough. Alright. So we are ready to go, guys. Uh, actually, I have to finish taping the back of my canvas. All right, so um, painter's tape. I wound up switching up the canvases. I didn't really care for the one I had, so. It needs a little work. Part of the staple wasn't totally down on one of them, so I want to fix it before I pour on it. All right. Anyway, when you're taping off your canvas on the back, this is not required. I, I just like the way it looks. I think it's, you know, crisper, especially when you pull the, the tape off. So right here, I always leave an edge of white. And that's so when the paint comes over the side, it, you know, it'll puddle right up in here. And it just doesn't ever pull the paint or pull the tape up. So it leaves it, you know, the tape stays flush and no issues. So I did all the sides already. And I just rip it with my fingernail. I hold my fingernail down and I pull up and rip it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you can see I have a corner showing there. I'm not, <laughs> it's not a big deal. For obsessive compulsive person like me, it's really not. All right, so over here in that corner, 
and then here, and voila, done. I get this at um, I get this at Michaels. They think they're like five bucks. I use a coupon on them. I march my <laughs> my kids can't stand it. It's so funny. <laughs> I march my kids in there every chance I get, and, I'm, and I equip each of them with a coupon, and they get all mad because they want to get stuff too. And I mean, I always let them get something, but you know, <laughs> it's always something little because I have to use the coupon on the, on the other stuff. I mean, that's serious, you know. It's real. It's serious stuff. So they're like, Mom, come on, we don't want to go to Michael's again. And then I have to bribe them with, like, McDonald's or something. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so I do this in all my videos. I'm going to do it again because I'm going to try to have you guys hear it, okay? So right now, it's just a thump, okay? Let me try it from this side so you can hear it. All right. And then I just take the back. Oh, yeah. Put your tape down first before you spray the canvas. If you wet the wood by spraying it, your tape's not going to stick until it fully dries. It's a mess. I've done it a couple times, not even thinking about it. But anyway, just around and then through the center. Whoops. And that's it. And I usually give it, you know, a good 30 seconds. And then, do you hear that? How it's like a, a, an echo. And it's nice and taut now. So, alright. Oh, wax paper. I gotta put that down and we'll be ready to go. Alright guys, here we go. So, um... Let me just show you what I got here. So my four caps, they go under my corners and it keeps them flush so the paint can run over the sides and everything is, you know, everything is good. All right, so we've got the gold, our purple, our, whoops, gold, purple, red aqua green. You can't really see it right now, but this is our dark turquoise. They little turquoise, whatever. Um, oh, I forgot. I added. Uh, I made a little more black. I felt that that was necessary. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, I gotta add silicone to it. I was throwing around what color I wanted to add silicone to, and it's gonna be my bright aqua green. Just like the first video. So, as always, I always pour off some into another cup just in case I need it. I'm just going to pour it off into there. So this is about six ounces. I use two drops of silicone for every, um, I'm sorry, I use a drop of silicone for every three ounces. So being that it's six ounces, we're going to put two drops in. So wait a minute, i got to open up my spout. Alright, so one, two. Okay. And then as always, one, two, three. And I have a little secret that we're gonna do as well. My daughter did this over the summer. She squirted color shift right into the pour cup. And it worked beautifully. So that's what we're going to do as well. This is a, a peacock pour. And I want some parts of it to jump. 
you know, to jump out. All right, I need our bowls. So I'm gonna use, I have these little silicone um, silicone pour cups. Just walk, rinse them out and they're good. Oh, I know what I do. Yeah, so sometimes I use these on top of my paint cups like that. And it keeps, you know, keeps paint from going bad overnight. Alright, so I'm gonna. Oh, man. Okay. So, let me see if I can. that All right and then I'm gonna put a little bit down here like that I think I'm gonna like puddle pour it maybe like that and then go around okay let's do maybe a little bit like this Just like that, you guys. Seriously, it's crazy, right? I came in and I was like, what are you doing? And she was like, what? I was like, Lily, you didn't mix that with any medium. And she says, I bet you it'll work. I said, okay. Right, I'll be damned if it did work. Or, is that how you say it? I don't know. <laughs> That was a chunk. I saw it. There should be no chunks in here. Alright, here's our silicone. Wait a minute. Yes, that's what I want to do. Okay. Black is going to seep down, so I'm not exactly too worried about it, but all right. Figures, right? <laughs> Whoa, look at that, you guys. I'm going to be a little more responsible for this one. All right, so this is my cup kiss. Ready? See my cups are kissing? Mwah. <laughs> oh, look at all that black right there. We don't want that. It is what it is. All right. Wow, that is pretty, you guys. Man, I hope this works. 
All right, I want to start pouring or moving this around now because I know the longer I wait, the more cells are going to happen. So here we go. Let's get rid of this first. I'm going this way. Oh, oh, I have a corner catcher now. I forgot. But the black can definitely take a little bit of a hike. Cells or no cells. That looks so cool. <laughs> wow. Look at that over there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. You know what? The glove is just coming off because I know I gotta get in there quick. <laughs> That's what happens when you squirt color shift right into the paint, into the paint. Like, I don't know. Let me take the glove off for a second. I don't know if you guys can actually see the color shift, but that, there it is right there. All through there. That's, I see, I missed a spot there, so I'll have to fix that. And I'll have to touch that up right there. But. so pretty. So there's more. Let me. Yeah, all through there, like it looks like yellow, but it's actually the color shift of the gold. That's great. I want to do another one of these so bad. And that's all the iridescent right there too. When I take a photo, you guys will be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. All right. Well, yeah, let's get a photo. I could use a little more turquoise, but I think it'll be all right. Wow, these cells are just really coming. <laughs> All right. I'll come back and check in with you guys in 15 minutes so you can see the full development of a beast. <laughs> 